My name is Patrick Hennessy. I'm the bosun on the Atlantis, RV Atlantis. I work for Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. I'm here to explain a few things about launch and recovery uh, procedures and things to look for when we're uh, going through these evolutions of launch and recovery. Coming your way, Andy. During these evolutions, uh, communication is, is key. You, you have to be constant communication uh, with these people in terms of uh, is the vehicle ready to go? How are you doing? How are you progressing? How, what's the timeline? Uh, being in touch with the uh, engineers, make sure that the equipment is running correctly, that uh, everything's warmed up, everything's ready to go in, in terms of the timeline. And also the bridge. You have to make sure that you're, you're on site. Uh, if they're using the, the correct thruster, okay, to avoid any accidents. If they're settled up, uh, if, you're, if the bridge is, you're not happy with the setup, okay, see if you can adjust the ship so it makes my job easier recovering or uh, launching the vehicle. Typically, you're going to uh, set the ship up with the bow into the wind or current, maybe with the, uh, the wind slightly on the starboard side if you're going to launch your AUV over the starboard side. Typically, secure the thruster on the side of your deployment. In this case, backing up, you're going to deploy your AUV over the starboard side. Wind is slightly to starboard, and your starboard thruster is secured. Being aware of current and wind, your objective is to slide the ship sideways at approximately a half a knot something in that neighborhood. On the bridge, PJ, we are uh, ready to launch. When uh, good com communication has been established with the deck, everybody is ready to deploy. Give the word to commence the launch. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Patrick. The crane takes the weight of the vehicle, and just lifts it up an inch or two, OK? Uh, we disconnect the sides, remove them. Okay, forward stay please. Then the next step is to lower the catches, forward, at, forward first, aft last, okay? And then we slowly proceed to lift the vehicle. Here we go guys, coming up. Keep in mind all the lines are tight so that we keep the vehicle suspended uh, and it doesn't uh, hit the bulkheads or the, all the bulwarks. The whole idea is that it comes straight up and then over to the side. Hey guys, going out board, going out board. Patrick, start easing out, please. Start easing out, Patrick. Hold your line tight, Ronnie. Yep, got it. Slip your line, Patrick. The technique that we use on this vessel is that we slowly slip the line on the forward end and then keep Ronnie, the aft tag line tight so that the vehicle turns thwartships perpendicular to the vessel. So when we actually get it in the water, there's only one tag line left on it, okay? And it's, Dana, the vehicle is perpendicular on, on, to the ship and as it is released, it goes away from the vessel. Down, That's guys, the whole down. idea. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but hopefully gravity works and it, it goes down quicker and the ship doesn't interfere with it at all. get some distance out, okay? When we're moving the tag lines, it's, it's critical to remember to pull these lines nice and slow and smoothly so nothing gets fouled. We don't want to get the vehicle fouled as we're launching it because then we have to basically recover it again. Okay, Ronnie, you ready? Go ahead. Hold that. What I want to see, uh, everything is to just going to happen nice and easy, yeah. slow and steady. It's, it's not a rush or a, uh, a panic when we're putting this in or recovering. Everything's nice and slow and easy. There she goes. Very nice, guys. Very nice. On the uh, recovery side of things, you're going to set up down wind, down current possibly, whatever the main driver is, wind over current. Down wind, let's call it, about three to four hundred meters. It's a 24 
seven type of operation, so it could be day or night for these launches and recoveries. Doesn't much matter if you're properly prepared. Searchlights, adequate number of personnel as lookouts on the bridge, and your deck crew ready to go. You're going to be downwind three to four hundred meters. Good communication with the vehicle, good tracking has been established and maintained. Everybody on deck has indicated that they're ready for the recovery to proceed. Make your approach, maybe a knot to a knot and a half, and you can keep the AUV well clear. The recovery is different than most anything else you've ever done in that your objective is not to get too close to the AUV. You don't need to. In the end, they will maneuver to you. The idea here is to give them room to maneuver. They'll have their belly pack, remote control. They're going to maneuver towards the recovery spot, turn around 180 degrees, and back in. The reason for that is it gives them more power, more thrust to maneuver away from the ship if they uh, deem that to be necessary. Got to come forward, Carl. Forward. They'll back in underneath the crane. There's a good system of hooks uh, to grab onto the uh, AUV. That looks good, Carl. Coming up easy, guys. Coming up easy. Okay, once we get the main lifting line connected to the sentry, we slew the crane outboard, we take tension, we lift with the, uh, the winch, okay, and we'll try to control the sentry in the water, trying not to hit the hull. The whole idea is to get the sentry away from the hull, then we can slowly work on getting our tag lines connected to the sentry. Okay, we'll shift out. Okay, come on up. Okay, coming in. Coming in board, guys. Hold that, Kate. Hold that, Kate. And here now we have control of the vehicle. Okay, now basically it's the reverse of a launch. And we're slowly doing this, bringing it in, taking our time, controlling the vehicle with the tag lines and the air tugger. We get some hands on the vehicle and slowly bring it down towards its home. Work on getting the forward catch in, the after catch, the sides, the nuts and bolts. Tighten those down and then we get the poles in. Okay, touch it down guys, touch it down. And then finally, we come down with the weight of the crane. All set. On the bridge, on the bridge, uh, sentry secured. Roger that, sentry secured. 